Hey, first graders, it's Mrs. Compton and Chip again. He just decided he wanted to join us again. So we're gonna do another number talk today and we're gonna get right to it. So let's find out how you are going to solve nine plus two plus 11 mentally. Remember, no pencil, no paper. How are you going to solve this? You can do your um, quiet heart signal. I have one strategy. I have a second strategy. All right, nine plus two plus 11. All right, are you ready to tell me? What do you think it is? On the count of three, everybody tell me. One, two, three, tell me. Did I hear 22? Did I get it right? Let's find out. Hmm, I'm gonna take a guess since you're not here with me, unless Chip, do you have a guess? You wanna raise your paw? He says he has a guess. His guess is, tell me, whisper. He said 22. All right, let's find out. Is it 22? All right, so I'm gonna guess that some of you thought about friends of 10. So nine plus 11, I'm gonna guess you knew that if you added nine and 11 together, that would make 20. And then you just had two more, so that made 22. I have another guess. I'm gonna guess some of you used doubles facts. Am I right? Maybe you thought about nine plus two first. So I'm gonna put a little hug around this because maybe you thought about that first and then you added the 11. And maybe you were like, ooh, I know 11 plus 11 because it's a doubles fact. All right, tell me, did you use a doubles fact? I wanna know. 11 plus 11 is 22. Okay, here's your next question. Remember, all mental math, we are finding really good ways to solve in our minds. Here's your next one. You ready? Chip, are you ready? Say yes. I think that was a yes. 19 plus 12 plus 21. Whew. That's a big one. Let's take some think time. We're going to think about what that might be. Okay, are you ready? Chip, are you ready? Did you have enough think time? Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three, tell me. Did you say 52? I think you did. Okay, so maybe some of you noticed I was sneaky deaky. Maybe some of you noticed that I kept the nine in the ones place, but I added a 10, and I kept the two, and I added another 10, and I kept the one, and I added another 10. So maybe you were like, ooh, it's gonna be three tens more than 22. So maybe you were like, three tens more than 22 would be 52. So maybe that's how some of you solved it. Or maybe, I'm gonna guess some of you did some friends of 10 again. So maybe you did um, joined the 19 and the 21 because you knew nine plus one was 10. So maybe you did that. And then you had the 20 plus the 10 was 30, so that would make 40. So 19 plus 21 would make 40. And then you had 12 more. And maybe you just knew that was 52. Hmm, did anyone do it another way? Hmm, I don't know. I want you to tell me in the comments. If you did this another way, please tell me. I wanna hear your strategies. All right, are you ready to hear our story problem today? Chip, are you ready? Was that a yes? Chip, are you awake? <laughs> okay, here's our next story. Now this time I'm not going to use post-it notes for my number sets. My number sets are already written on the paper. So it looks just a little bit different, but it's the same process. All right, so I'm gonna cover my number sets until we are ready. Okay, this one's all about puddles because we're in springtime and you know, 
April showers bring me flowers. So there are lots of puddles going on in our springtime stories. Paige splashed in hmm puddles. Okay, can you read that with me? Paige splashed in hmm puddles. Hayden splashed in hmm puddles. Liam splashed in hmm puddles. How many puddles did they splash in all together? All right, so we are gonna check out our number sets. Remember, I put them all together on the page already. So it looks like this, but you know what? It's the same as what I've been doing with the post-it notes. So let's pretend this was the post-it note for 11. This is the post-it note for three. And this is the post-it note for nine. The 11 would go in the first space. The three would go in the second space. The nine would go in the third space. Or if I chose this number set, it would be the same process. These numbers would stay together. Line one, line two, line three. It just depends which one you choose. All right, kids, so please choose your just right number set and ask your teacher how you should turn this work into her. Can't wait to hear how you solve the problems in the comments. All right, see you later, guys. Bye.